Hey guys and welcome to How to Gastro. So in today's video we'll be discussing what is a lactate dehydrogenase blood test which is also commonly known as an LDH blood test. So let's get started. So before we get into the specifics of the lactate dehydrogenase blood test, let's talk a little bit about what you can expect when your doctor orders this blood test for you. So a lactate dehydrogenase blood test is a simple test that can be done at your closest laboratory or hospital. No special preparation is needed for a lactate dehydrogenase blood test, which means you don't have to fast so you can eat and drink as usual before the test. So during the test, a blood sample will be collected from you, which means a needle will be inserted into a vein, usually in your arm, to draw out some blood into a gold top or SST blood tube. This blood tube is then sent off to the laboratory where it is analyzed and resulted. So what is lactate dehydrogenase or LDH? Lactate dehydrogenase is an enzyme which is found in almost all the body's tissues. It plays a crucial role in the process of converting sugar into energy for the cells to use. So lactate dehydrogenase catalyzes the reversible conversion of pyruvate to lactate with the concomitant conversion of nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide from its reduced form to its oxidized form. So this reaction is critical in anaerobic conditions such as in intense exercise or in certain tissues like red blood cells where oxygen levels might be low. So as we mentioned above, lactate dehydrogenase is widely distributed in the body with different forms or isoenzymes present in the different tissues within the body. So there are five subcategories where this enzyme is abundant. And this includes LDH1, which is found predominantly in the heart and red blood cells. LDH2, which is found in the reticular endothelial system, such as in organs like the spleen. LDH3, which is found in the lungs. LDH4, which is found in the kidneys, the placenta and the pancreas. And LDH5, which is found mainly in the liver and the skeletal muscle. So now that we know what this lactate dehydrogenase enzyme is all about, let's explore the LDH blood test a little further. So what is a lactate dehydrogenase blood test? So the LDH blood test measures the amount of the lactate dehydrogenase enzyme in your blood. LDH is usually released into the bloodstream when cells are damaged or destroyed. But since the LDH enzyme is found in many tissues throughout the body, the test result is non-specific, as it does not indicate the exact location or type of tissue damage, but does alert us to some sort of or type of tissue damage within the body. So what are the normal ranges of lactate dehydrogenase? So normal lactate dehydrogenase levels are usually measured in units per liter of blood. And in adults, this range falls between 140 to 280 units per liter. And in children, the LDH levels are generally higher and can vary widely depending on the age. So now that we know what the normal range of the LDH level is in a blood report, Let's take a closer look at some abnormally high and low values. So abnormally high lactate dehydrogenase levels can indicate a range of medical conditions as LDH is found in many tissues of the body and is released into the bloodstream when cells are damaged or destroyed. So elevated LDH levels can be associated with number one, tissue damage, so this tissue damage can occur in the heart in cases of a myocardial infarction or a heart attack, which will cause raised LDH levels. Tissue damage in the liver, such as in diseases like hepatitis, liver cirrhosis or liver damage and failure. Tissue damage in the muscles of the body, such as in diseases like muscular dystrophy or any type of muscle injury, 
and this will also cause abnormally high LDH levels. Tissue damage that may occur in the lung, such as in diseases like pulmonary embolisms or pneumonias, and tissue damage that affects the kidneys, such as in kidney disease or kidney damage. At number two, we also have hematological disorders that can cause high levels of lactate dehydrogenase. And here we have hemolytic anemia, which is the destruction of red blood cells, leukemia, which is a certain type of blood cancer, and lymphoma, which is the cancer of the lymphatic system, which all cause abnormally high lactate dehydrogenase levels. So continuing with causes, at number three we have cancer, and this includes metastatic cancers or testicular cancers. So cancers that have spread to other parts of the body, especially organs like the liver and the lungs, will cause abnormally high lactate dehydrogenase levels on a blood report. And in testicular cancer, the LDH can also be used as a tumor marker, as it is generally very raised in individuals who have a testicular tumor. At number four, we have infections. So this includes sepsis, which is a severe widespread infection of the body, and meningitis or encephalitis, which are infections of the brain and its surrounding tissue. And at number five, we have inflammatory conditions. And this includes pancreatitis, which is the inflammation of the pancreas, and autoimmune diseases, such as SLE or systemic lupus erythematosus. So these are all causes that may lead to abnormally high lactate dehydrogenase levels on a blood report. So now that we've explored all the causes for abnormally high levels of LDH, let's take a closer look at what are the causes of abnormally low LDH levels. So abnormally low levels of lactate dehydrogenase are less common but can also provide useful information about an individual's health. So lower than normal LDH levels may be seen in various scenarios, although they are generally less clinically significant compared to elevated levels. So some possible causes of low LDH levels include Number one, certain medical conditions, which include chronic kidney disease and a vitamin C deficiency. So in cases of chronic kidney disease, many of these individuals also have lower LDH levels on their blood report. And severe deficiencies of vitamin C can also decrease LDH levels. At number two, we have genetic factors, which includes the LDH deficiency. So this is actually a rare genetic condition that can lead to naturally lower levels of LDH in the blood and the body's tissues. At number three, we have the use of certain medications. So certain medications or treatments can also influence LDH levels, though this is less common and can also cause abnormally low levels on a blood test. And at number four, we have a normal variation, and this includes laboratory variability. So sometimes variations in laboratory techniques or reference ranges can result in the appearance of lower readings. So as we have just seen, the lactate dehydrogenase enzyme is released into the bloodstream when cells are damaged or destroyed. Elevated LDH levels can indicate damage to various organs and tissues, such as the heart, the liver, the muscles, and the lungs. So while LDH is not specific to any one condition, it serves as a general marker of cell damage or disease activity and is usually interpreted in conjunction with other tests and clinical information to provide a more comprehensive picture of an individual's health. And that brings us to the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with some of your friends who you think might find this video helpful. So if you want to encourage me to do even more, or to say thanks for all the free information you've received on my channel today, you can say thank you by buying me a coffee. So the link to buy me a coffee can be found in the description box below. Take care and have an awesome day further. Bye for now.